Hello, I've had a few questions about Image Studio Lite. Um, so this is a follow-up tutorial from the first tutorial where I introduced the software. Um, this is looking at scanning in documents on a desktop scanner, a standard desktop scanner, and then importing them into Image Studio Lite. Um, a few of you have had uh, this happen to them. Uh, all you can see on the screen here, this is a Western blot that's been scanned in, loaded into Image Studio Lite, and you can see it's been inverted. And when you've drawn your boxes around your blobs, you've got a whole load of different channels appearing. You've got a red, a green, and a blue channel appearing for each of the bands. Uh, when you look in your chart, it all looks a bit crazy, and there's red, green, and blue channels on the chart. Um, don't worry about the chart. That's not a big issue. The main issue is making sure you've got the right numbers on the screen. So over in the uh, right-hand side of the window in the display settings, you've got the option to play with brightness, contrast, and various channels, and you can look at the curves. So while in one of these uh, windows, either the curves window or the uh, adjustment window, you can see up here we've got a blue, a green, and a red channel. If you press just the R, you will just see the red channel. If you press just the G, you will just see the green channel. Press the B, you will just see the blue channel. It doesn't really matter which channel you look at, but I'm going to, uh, for this example, look at the green channel and just click on the green channel. So now you can see it's just showing the green channel and you can see here it's showing the densities of these bands and you'll notice that the light bands have a high number and the dark bands have a low number so the software is capable of discriminating but for your visual uh, joy you might as well make it look a bit prettier so if you've selected just the G, the green channel over on the right here you've got an option of how you display this is rather like using a confocal microscope or one of these other pseudo color uh, applications. You can click on one of these different boxes to show the scale it's been shown with and I'm going to click on this one on the end and there we are our western blot now looks much more like a western blot and you can read these numbers off the screen that give you the densities of each of these bands. It's purely visual if you return back to the original view with all three channels showing uh, make blue blue, make green green and red red you'll see that the numbers are actually still the same, it's just a little bit hickledy-pickledy and difficult to see what's going on. So a quick recap, just click on a single channel, I'm choosing green, Ch click on a visually pleasing color scheme, in this case which is light gray to dark gray, and then you can read the numbers off the screen and those are the densities of your bands.